Hey guys, welcome back to another source coding tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the basics of ent underscore create. Whoops. And then let me space down a bit. And give. These commands are the basis of spawning entities. Sort of like, um, nv underscore smoke. Smokestack. Uh, ignore the entity. I'll get into that in a later tutorial. Um, so, pretty much the ent create command creates an entity wherever you aim. Like I said in my l no, never mind, I didn't. Uh, I just clicked something I did not want to click. Okay, there. Um, so pretty much how you use this command is ent create and then the entity and you can't create the you can't create something like this you can't create yourself so don't try that or it could potentially crash the server so that's pretty much what the end create command does so the give command um, this one is a bit different this give command you use the same way so and me underscore smoke stack. And so the only difference is this spawns it inside you. So I could do give underscore. Hmm. Let me think of a good one. Hmm. I'll just do npc underscore ant lion. I think that's it. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so these are the two basic give commands. So let's create an entity one using the end create, and let's do one using the the give. So pretty much what we're gonna do is end create, and like I said, you can't do activator, but you can do. Let me open up a website called the Valve Developer website. Now, this gives you all your key values, all your entities, everything. Only problem is, you can't script with this because the key values are messed up. So, what I use is Hammer Editor. Ignore that, that was a, that was a failed tutorial that I was working on. But anyway, so, find a good entity you like uh, for this particular tutorial. I'm going to be doing... An NV air to explosion, the basis of all commands. So, NV air to explosions is a point entity available in Half Life 2 series. It creates an air to explosion visual effect, it creates a big volume filling brown cloud, but does not cause damage or emit sound. Encode it represents by class C NV AR2 explosion, defined in HL2 underscore DLL air to explosion dot CPP. Uh, it doesn't really create a brown cloud, it creates any color cloud that you want, so, hmm. let me just create that entity in hammer, um, and the underscore air to explosion here. And now we're gonna uh, scroll in on that entity and click right click and click properties. Um, this is a very, very basic entity. So let me just drag this over like this, and then let's uh, create or open Hammer back up. And now all we're gonna do is this: ent create nv underscore ar2 explosion. Is that right? Explosion. Yep. And now we're gonna do ent underscore fire. So this is what we have so far. Ent create entity create and that creates it where you're aiming and the AR2 explosion. That's all we have so far. Now we're doing an ent fire or entity fire. Um uh NV underscore AR2 explosion add output target name a R A R two. So pretty much what we're gonna do after this is I'm just gonna copy this line because honestly I don't feel like retyping that out. 
And let me zoom out a little bit so we can all see it. Okay, there. Hmm. Now, what we are going to do, I'm just going to right click on here and click browse for particle, just so I can, you know, actually I think I'll keep that particle. So we're going to change this to class name like usual, class name AR2. Now, you know what this is stating. So next we're going to do ent underscore fire AR2. R2 add output um material material and then I'm just gonna copy and paste this copy and paste let me set the view to default okay so you have this you have NVAR2, which is AR2 explosion, add output, material, particles, forward slash particle noise sphere. Now, what this should do is it should create pretty much that description, but let's say I wanted to change the color of it. Well, we can do this by ent underscore fire, AR2, add output, um, and then we could do, hmm, let me think. Okay, then we could do render color, render color, and then anywhere between the RGB scale, which is 255, 255, 255. That's as high as it goes. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do 180. Next is going to be 20, and then let's do 100. I don't know what color this makes, so we're just going to test it out. And then render color, etc. And then we could, I guess you could do render effects, but I don't know how good it would look. So next, we're going to save it. Um, save it as whatever you want. AR2 underscore explosion dot CFG, like I showed you in the last tutorial. And I'll see you guys in game. Hey guys, welcome back to being in game. So we're going to go to find server and then area 51 cheat spawn and build. So, mm, I think it just crashed. Yeah, it crashed due to some idiot. So, we're gonna... We're gonna load the map. Come on. Mm, it was pickles, of course. Let me just do this. Mm. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to do EXEC AR2 Explosion. What did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay. Hold on, let me correct this. I forgot to add one thing called an input. And what this input is going to do is going to make it explode. So do N underscore fire AR2 Explode. And now let's see XC see it. It explodes. Ta-da. Uh render color didn't change it, so let's do this. And then let's try it. Okay, I don't think render color works on this, but make sure you always kill your scripts like this. Um and fire and or er, wait fifty semicolon. You can space it, or not space it, doesn't matter, I like to space it. Ent underscore fire, AR2, kill. Now this would kill it after 50 ticks. So, after 50 ticks it kills it completely. And d makes the entity non-existent. So, if we EXEC it now, it only shows up in that one area. So, good job guys, you made your first legitimate script, I would say that. So, see you guys later, comment, rate, subscribe, share the video, do whatever you like. See ya.